Tonight, the Southeast picking up the pieces after a lashing from Tropical Storm Claudette. Alabama's governor declaring a state of emergency in eight counties so residents like Destiny Ward can rebuild. Is that your trailer over there? Yes, all, all, all that's my piece of my trailer. She survived a tornado with three young kids by her side. I picked my one-year-old daughter up and had her on my chest. And then my other two kids ran up to my legs. And the moment that happened, you can feel the trailer lift up and fly. The weather took several unexpected turns throughout the day. The local fire chief just came out telling us to take cover and to leave the area immediately because another strong storm is headed this way. The severe weather also being blamed for at least 14 deaths. Officials say a hydroplaning car triggered a multi-vehicle wreck in southern Alabama, killing 10. Most of the victims were children, ages 4 to 17, traveling in a small bus owned by a residential home for youth. I've never seen anything like it. It was horrific. And overnight, more extreme weather in the Midwest, activating tornado sirens in the Chicago suburbs of Naperville. Intense winds, snapping trees and downing power lines. This went through very quickly and it's amazing the power of what uh, weather can do in high winds. Forecasts are saying this system energized Claudette once more before pushing out to sea. A dangerous start to the first full day of summer and the beginning of hurricane season. And Kathy, as we noted at the top, the threat of severe weather isn't over. Lester, that is right. The severe threat isn't over. And that is a big concern here on the ground with the cleanup efforts already underway. Many people say it could take a matter of months. It took just seconds for folks to lose just about everything. Lester. All right, Kathy, thanks. Let's drill down on that next threat now with tens of millions still at risk. Al Roker is here. Al, what can we expect? Lester, we're not done by a long shot. We've got a 1,000 miles worth of severe thunderstorm watches tonight as a front makes its way toward the northeast. 37 million people at risk for winds of over 70 miles per hour, damaging winds, hail, tornadoes possible. The greatest risk, Maine to Tennessee tonight. Tomorrow, the heavy rain shifts down to the southeast with downpours, heavy flooding, one to two inches of rain in the northeast, but we're looking anywhere three inches or more through the southeast. Lester. Al Roker tonight, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.